The nice thing about this winter is we've been kind of cleaning up problem areas. Um, the other nice thing is that we're not reinventing anything. You know, every, every previous winter we have been rebuilding or we figured we had a problem and uh, so we would make drastic changes to an area. Uh, we got good enough near the end of last year, halfway through the season, through the second half of the year, to where now we're kind of in fine-tuning state. Straightening surfaces, sharpening edges, you know, the, all the, the fine-tuning things that make a hydroplane fast, we've been working on that. Um, we built a new uh, rear wing over the winter, lighter, stronger. Um, but And then other than that, it's really just basic maintenance. Uh, we have a, a new engine. Uh, we definitely have hardware improvements. Uh, we have uh, different gear packages. Uh, things are going to get us closer to the you know the top three guys um, as far as boat speed and engine packages and, and gearbox packages and propeller packages for a given race course. Um, they're they're throwing everything from a mile and two thirds to up to three miles at us this year, um, and. And, and it's our responsibility to be prepared. We're in a lot better shape and our confidence level is high. We do need to be prepared to repair damage from boat contact. It will be very, very interesting to see how busy we are as drivers here the first couple events and conversely how busy the referees are um, and how the drivers meetings go um, how much of an active stance the officials are going to take. They threw us in a fishbowl and took the muzzles off. So um, it'll be interesting. It's, uh, we all know that in NASCAR, Martinsville and Bristol, are, I, nobody comes out of there unscathed. Um, we don't have 43 guys. We don't have backup boats. Most of us don't have backup boats and stuff like that. Um, we're going to need to try to take care of ourselves and each other a little bit, but there's still, it's still very important to establish the fact that you're not going to get pushed around out there. And now that they've taken, they pulled the reins off of us by letting us fight for lanes again and let, you know, doing the clock start fight for lanes, um, that's where the drivers will take a step forward and they, and they excel. I'm, I'm excited for that. I, I fancy myself a driver. Going slow during the warm-up period is going to be as important as going fast uh, in the race. Um, establishing lanes and protecting that lane uh, prior to a score-up is going to be key. Um, it is going to be a feeling out period for those who haven't done it in a little while. And I feel like those of us that race week in and week out uh, over the years in competitive inboard classes will have a step up on the other guys that have only been doing the big boats and have had their lanes assigned to them. There are a lot of guys that are very aggressive, that are going to race hard, and then aren't going to give an inch. Um, if that happens to segue into some type of personal issue, so be it. Tensions are, uh, are rising uh, between some of the guys and you, you never know what's going to happen but the, it's it's so weird what sets people off and it's so weird what brings people together and you, you just never know um, that's one of the things that makes our sport so cool is that you know we're going to be bashing into each other and cutting each other off and everything else one day and then we'll go out and have a beer the next day um, and you know, that's one of the things that I love about our sport. That's one of the things I hate about our sport. The Schumachers have been racing a long time. J. Michael's no rookie. Yeah, they have a new program. They've got a good sponsor. They've got money behind it. It potentially can be competitive right out of the box. We'll see. One of the best guys in unlimited racing is Scott Rainey. That guy knows boat racing. I trust him. I like him. I think he's a good guy, he's got a head on his shoulders, and he's a leader. Um, I, I have no doubt that those guys will enjoy success despite their choice of a driver. <laughs> Just kidding, J-Dub. I hope 
that I am deck to deck with the likes of Steve David and Jeff. I want to race with those guys. That's, that's what our plan is.